pretending this is a boat that I'm trying. All right, folks, I finally got a break in the weather. So we're going to see if this thing will actually pull some weight. Pretending this is a boat that I'm trying to rescue that uh, somebody wants to discard to get rid of and wants hauled off so I can pick it up and haul it off for them. Took a lot of pressure it actually started sliding the jeep a little bit well this is what i'd call a limited success folks um the tongue the whole system here looks like it would work and it would handle obviously if this is max of 2000 i took it to the max or 6000 uh rolling i think i pretty much took it to the max and uh might have crapped out, so I might, I might just try to take it apart, see what's clicking and what's not moving. Okay, folks, I took the cover off the winch, and it kind of looks like what happened here is these teeth got a little bound up. Because this shaft hangs out a little bit of ways here and doesn't have any support, so allow it to flex up and, and right up on top of that gear. I'm going to see if I can pop it free. Okay, as you saw... The winch did fail me out in the yard when I was trying to pull stuff, pull that tree. And I'll have to say I wasn't trying to pull that tree. I was just testing the strength of it. And we had this little gear right here jump over this other little gear. And it kind of got bound up. But I think I can make it a little better because right now the only support this thing has is three screws right here. And this plate. This plate can flex and allow this distance between that gear where it idles here and this to move apart. But what I did notice is they have a strap clamp on around here, around this post here and a post on the other side. And I presume that is supposed to give it strength. Problem being, it pull, when it pulls down, this isn't the right distance for it to be sitting up tight against here, which is a problem. And that would allow the gear to move away. So what I want to do is I think I can put some shims back here on this side, which would allow it to pivot the gear, pivot this action, whoops, pivot this action right here closer to this gear. I'm gonna try that and see if that does anything for me. And that would cause this gear here and that one to mesh a little bit tighter without all the extra in play that I'm currently experiencing. So we're gonna play around with that and see if we can make this better than it was when it came from the factory. And that way the gear won't have an opportunity to hop again. It'll just stop, could thermally kick out and, but not jump the tooth like it did or bind the tooth like it did. And uh, I think we got something we can work here. That ratcheting noise, this right here, runs against that gear back here, right there makes a heck of a lot of noise which is fine it's supposed to make that noise it's supposed to do what it's doing for its job so anyway yeah actually the cover came off pretty easy as you can see the base of the frame i could probably pull the cover off and access all this without even taking it off the boat or off the trailer but i wanted to get it into my shop so i get a good close look at it because there are some little tiny screws that if i was out there working out in the yard i'd drop them in the grass i just know i would so we're going to get to see what I can figure out for some shims here. Like I said, I've got these, these things here loose. I've got it so the motor can move. It can't move much because it's, it's piloted in inside here. But I, can, I know I can stop the binding because you see how this thing here, you wiggle it like that. I know if I can shim this up so that this doesn't pull down and, and pivot this away from the gear, I think I'll make a great improvement there. So we're gonna do that next. All right, folks, I'm gonna show you what I did here. I used a little redneck ingenuity. So obviously this clamp here, when it pulls down, it can flex things where it shouldn't flex and pull this gear away from this gear. I didn't like that. 
I took some old license plate material. It turns out two thicknesses right here. I put it on this side and it's hard to see, but back behind here, there's another crossbar right here. Let's see if we can get a shot here. And it goes, so I've got that piece of shim stock on both sides of that bar. What that does is when I tighten this clamp down, which is supposed to help stabilize this, it keeps this from pitching, like doing like this, from pitching down, which would lift it off the gear. Now, I've got this gear set up. There is, let me see that, barely any backlash there at all. There was probably three, four times as much as, as than that when I first took it apart. So now I've got this tightened down here, here, and here. I've got this tightened down. This wasn't as tight as it should have been, I think, from the factory. Now it's held down tight here. This thing should work like a champ. I'm excited to give it a whirl now and pull this cable all back in, and we can try it again. But now I'm confident that this is going to be in better shape than it was before. It's going to be meshing better than it did before. It should work. Now all i got left to do is slide this cover and this cover back on, put all the little screws that hold the cover together. Um, but yeah, all the meat and potatoes isn't built into the cover. It's built into the framework. The cover is just the plastic that covers it. So I'm pretty happy with how that's going to turn out. Um, it should be ready to rock and roll again. And see, I can turn that by hand and overcome that. Ugh, the gear reduction is tough. Then I can break this loose here. And... This has a lot of play in it for some reason, I'm not sure why. But everything looks like it's in order. Just the way it's designed, it's got a little bit of fluid in it. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna put this back together, put the battery juice to it, wind her back in, and put her back on the trailer because I think now it's good to go. Now I know it'll do the job it needs to do. But that's why we test things we test it, possibly break it, find out where the weak point is, fix it, make it better than it was, and then we go out there and do some work with it. see there everything seems to work just fine still got the minimal backlash there I wound up all 30 foot of wire rope back on there I think it's gonna be good to go I'm pretty happy with what I see inside now some of these things you don't really know what you have till you dig inside a little bit now that I've dug inside I feel a lot more confident about the setup yes it's not the most expensive one in the world these are these are stamped type of gears versus cut gears but uh, they are a stacked plate style gear, which actually does give a lot of strength. They're riveted together. Um, I think we'll just uh, keep using it and see what happens and see how many boats I can get on this thing before it craps out. My goal was not to spend a lot of money to get going in this adventure, this little venture. But um, once I make a little money at it, I think one of the first things I might upgrade will be the winch for a better winch maybe with one with a wireless remote which would be kind of nice too so well folks this is just a good example of i was planning on possibly taking it back to the store and go this one's junk give me another one chances are they all assembled the same way they're all going to have that same kind of backlash the same thing could happen on a brand new one now i have a lot more confidence that it will not happen again on this one because i've got it adjusted properly uh from the factory there again you can't expect a lot for an 80 dollars winch it is a Badland winch. I don't know if they're a reputable, reputable uh, winch company or not. But I'm going to give this one a whirl. I'm going to keep track of how many boats I drag up onto the trailer with it. And uh, 
maybe one, maybe two, maybe 10, maybe a hundred before I actually have to replace it. What I'll do is I'll just stash some money away for some winch money. And when it comes time, I'll put another winch on there. Uh, one, I'd probably get one with actually a wireless remote. So folks, I appreciate you watching. Uh, hope you learned something today. Uh, don't be afraid to dig into stuff like this. Uh, way I look at things, a human being most likely put most of this stuff together. A human being can take it apart and put it back together. We're all human beings. Just got to look at how, how things are put together, process it in your mind a little bit, put a little reasoning to it. Maybe you might be able to get something fixed on your own. Folks, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like what you see. Don't be afraid to comment. Haters, don't hate. If you got anything negative to say, just keep it to yourself. I don't want to hear it. I'll probably just delete it anyway. Constructive criticism, that's something I can appreciate. But just hating on people, I don't like that a lot at all. So, get out there and do something fun, folks. Don't let fear rule your life. Michael out. Thought I was frozen there, didn't you? Just kidding. Take care, folks. Have a good time.